So Langren on the ice, any update with Ryan and his availability for this evening? Um, I would say it's still day to day, but I might that, that might get upgraded after practice. I'll have to see where the trainers say. So there's a chance. You could yeah, well, there's a chance. Yeah. Probably a better chance he's not, but there's still a chance. Right. I, I haven't heard after practice see how we get along. So what, what it's real close. Would it make a difference because it's a back to back? I mean, like you know, just yeah, that it's all a factor for sure, definitely. Yeah, and they'll make that decision down there. And like I said, I'm not putting any pressure on. Well, I mean, it seems like uh, your team's playing, gotten on a little bit of a roll here lately, yeah. and, and you've actually won more games. Yeah. You know, with, with them out, you've still been able to, to win games. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, definitely. I mean, anytime you miss a player, it's a big loss to your group, especially Lindy. But again, that's part of hockey: injuries, suspensions, that stuff. You miss guys, so guys stepped up and played well since he's been out. So it's a good sign. With. Um, I was talking to uh, Braden Schneider just this morning. I haven't talked to him in a while. What, what, how do you feel his progress has been, like you know, from from a year ago when he first came up to, to now? Has he has he been going up, up, up? Or he yeah, this. I mean, no, he's getting better, and that's exactly where you want. I mean, he's not taken off through the roof, but he looks more confident with the puck and the offensive zone. But he's doing real good things, so we're real happy with him. Again, most of the times you don't see a whole lot of him. And that's a good sign from a defenseman. But you know, he got more definitely when he got the puck, he has more confidence. So, no, he's 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 been excellent. We're real happy with him. Progress is good. Everything's good. And there were a, a number of games last year, and I, I think this year too, where if you have a one-goal lead, um, you might not put Artemi on in the mm -hmm. final couple of minutes. But the last few weeks, you have been. Yeah. I'm, I'm wondering. Do you see an improvement from him, or is it because your four-line rotation now, mm -hmm. you, you know, you don't want to grab good draw off of the fourth and throw him up there? Or, you know, yeah, I mean, I shorten it a little bit. And get, like I said, we talked about it a number of times. You, you want your skilled guys on the ice in those situations too, but we've got a fourth line that does a real good job on that, and you know they have, a, have to have an important role in their team, and they're going to get some of that ice time in the last two minutes for sure, hockey games. And then you've got a lot of other skilled guys that you're going to pick from, and whoever I feel real comfortable with that night, that's who's going to go out there. I mean, Wedge's done a good job. He scored some empty net goals for us. He made some good plays there. So you're definitely, it's not like I'm, you know, I got three guys that they're definitely not going on the ice. It's not like that with their group anymore. So I think that fourth line, I think they've, Jimmy scored a goal the other night, you know, with the empty net, and they were already getting the last game with the empty net. So, no, I'm comfortable with those guys. And then, uh, you know, the Mika's obviously and those type of players. And when you need a sentiment, Trocek or Mika, so definitely. But uh, I feel good about the guys we're turning over there. I said if it's Brad or if it's Kane or if it's, uh, you know, Tarasenko. Yeah. You feel um, with with Trocek's season, you feel more comfortable in the face-off circle and then pretty secure. Yeah, I mean, Trocek's real good in the face-offs. Obviously, Mika's real good in the face-offs, and they're both right-handed shots, but Troch seems to be real good on the other side, too. So, yeah, I'm, I'm real comfortable with those guys taking draws. And they don't, nobody wins the ball, but uh, they're definitely good out there, and they're both good defensively. What have you thought of Trocek in terms of how the adjustments he had to make coming to mm -hmm. the team to get to the point of how he's playing right now? Took a while, like we t we talked about chemistry and that, but I think Trocek's played the last 10 or 15 games. I've been real happy with him and, and the adjustment he's made. So he's played real good hockey and competitive. But the first while it took some it took some time. He was playing with Brad and it wasn't great chemistry. They were getting some points in that, but they were giving up way too much offensively. So I think they found his game now, and you know he's playing exactly the way we want him to play, and he's happy. Is is he the type of player? Is he one of those players that when like, he almost plays by the calendar? In a way, like as it gets closer to the playoffs. I hope so. I hope it keeps getting better. Well, of course, but no, I don't think. Honestly, I don't think. I think it was an adjustment with our team. There's no doubt. I mean, Carolina. Carolina is a real good team. They they play a strong system, man on man. They force the puck all over the ice, and that's how they played it. So Troach was more of a man on man in the D zone and chasing in the corners, and you know, and that's how they played. And Carolina had great success with that. We're a different system, and it took them a while to adjust. It's, and it's, that's what it's tough. It's, it's always tough. It's on the center, the low guy in his own. But you do think his best is now? Is Definitely. The last 15 games, I'm real happy. Real happy. Because this is the last game of the season against Pittsburgh, 
and could be a four point swing either way. I mean, winning tonight, you know, as far as putting you in a comfortable position, would, would, would that make a pretty big difference in your mind? Well, I wish you would have said that last game because we won. <laughs> no, but obviously you're 10 points. Yeah. It's, a, it's a 10 point differential. Yeah. I mean, it looks like a real comfortable spot right now, yeah. but it's never comfortable. You go through a little losing streaks, winning streaks, you don't know who's going to get hurt. So it's a huge game. It's a big game. You want to play your best. Not just for the point standings, but you know, getting prepared, and uh, it's a big game. It's always a big game against Pittsburgh, and it should be a fun game again. The other night was a real good hockey game, I thought, and you know, I expect the same tonight.